what's up and in this video I'm going to talk about um, viruses for the Mac and if so, if that's if there are some, um, what antiviruses should you use? Um, okay so let's get started. So um, I've seen on the um, internet that people say um, there are no viruses for the Mac and of course that is not true. There are in fact viruses for the Mac, um, Trojans, um, whatever you say. Um, so there are less viruses um, because um, they're, uh, go to the security page, um, it doesn't, Macs don't get PC viruses. And there are not many, many um, viruses for um, Macs, but there are lots for PCs. So a Mac won't get a PC virus, but there are Mac Trojans and viruses. They are not as damaging as a PC virus would be. But um, I'm a little paranoid about um, this stuff because I just bought my computer about two months ago. And so I'm going to show you some good antivirus softwares that um, you should have. And all the links for this are going to be in the description. I didn't pay for any of these. So um, this is, let's start off with iAntivirus. Um, iAntivirus is a freeware um, antivirus. It, this is the free edition. I didn't pay for the full version. Um, this was my first antivirus. Okay. That, um, that was weird. Um, <laughs> Okay, um, so you can scan it, um, all that stuff. Um, I just did a scan about like five minutes ago, and um, it didn't find anything. So, um, no, I don't want to cancel. I just want to get out of that. Okay, so it's pretty good. It's not a heavy, heavy-duty um, application. As you can see, I'll go into Activity Monitor, and whoa, where am I? Oh, I'm in Console. I want Activity Monitor. Um, it's in here somewhere. I Antivirus. It's basically using zero of my CPU. That's good. Uh, my next antivirus is Norton Antivirus. And Norton Antivirus is a very, very well done antivirus. Um, link will be in the description for if you want free. Um, I'll um, update it. They update this pretty frequently, like twice a week or something, I would say. I just checked this morning, so if there's something now, I mean, nope. Um, it does block stuff. It blocked a vulnerability. I don't know what that means, but it blocks um, fake scan web page two. So it does block stuff. It automatically protects uh, um, all this. And it takes a while to scan, but it hasn't found anything. This is a very, very good antivirus. Um, very good. I would definitely recommend getting this. Um, the next one was, that's what just I just downloaded this link five minutes ago and that's why it freaked me out when that thing went off. It's Net Barrier X5. Um this how do I open this up? No um Net Barrier X5. Oh there we go. Okay, I just downloaded this. Um it protects you against Trojans and um, other stuff. So you go in here and you can you know, protect against stuff. Um, Inigo is a very good, um, oh, I like simple. It's a very good, um, thing to use. Uh, so every, it's kind of like Little Snitch if you have that. Little Snitch. It just tells you when something's gonna connect to the internet. Um, it's very, um, cool. It works. It, it like freaks me out when. Sorry. 
I don't know. It was just kind of weird. Um, because, but this is very good. It protects against Trojans, and that's what I wanted the most. And 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 spyware. So, um, because I don't Trojans is a little seems a little bit bigger than um, viruses on a Mac because um, they just I don't know. You hear about Trojans a lot more than stuff. So that's what's going on up here. Um, this is App Tamer. What it does is when I'm running two applications, so I'll open up Firefox 2. Um, I don't know, this isn't security related, but... Well, okay, Firefox can connect. I don't know, what the heck is that? Um, so that was my fire barrier, or um, net barrier going up. Now what what um, that does is it just disables this after 30 seconds of not use not using any CPU. So what else um, I have for security I antivirus is right there. Um, let's see max scan and max scan. What this does is It um, detects, <coughs> isolates, and removes spyware. Um, so you just scan, and it finds a lot of tracking cookies for some reason. But I have, I do have a little issue when it finds something. When I click remove, it just the bar just doesn't move. Um, let's see. I don't know what washing machine is. I I just got that. Um, Zebra scanner is a good Trojan scanner. Um, it works pretty well. It's very simple. Like, very simple. Let me see how long I'm recording. Seven minutes. Can't go over ten. Um, so what you do is, I'm just going to choose a folder, or you can drag one in. Um, let's just find one in my doc. Let's scan my Adobe folder. Okay, no applications. Um, you can scan your entire hard drive, but, um, Let's just scan my applications. So while that's scanning, I don't know if I have anything else. I used to have Inigo Virus Barrier times five, but um, it just didn't seem like it was doing much. Um, so I didn't use that. Um, I don't think I have anything else, but this is going to scan for Trojans. Um, I'll have the links for um, Norton Antivirus and um, just Norton Antivirus because um, that is free, the full version. Um, so get it now. But let me, okay, there it's scanning now. But anyway, I'm going to have to end this video because ScreenFlow will not let me upload it if it's over 10 minutes. So um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.